Shalom, shalom, beloved. It's me, Angel, another saint. We're going to read Nahum chapter 2. Here we go, my babies, my children, my big babies. Abba, thank you for this reading. Thank you for your love, grace, and mercy, Abba. Bless us, protect us, protect us and uh, keep loving on us, Abba, as you always, always have, even when we don't understand you, Abba. Let us have the faith to keep walking forward and keep loving on people, for they are your people. You created us. Protect us from temptation and from the evil one. In Yahusha's name, Amen. Here we go, my babies. Nineveh will be defeated. The destroyer is coming to attack you, Nineveh. Guard the defenses. Watch the road. Get ready. Gather all your strength. Destroyers have destroyed Abba's people and ruined their vines. But the master will make the people of Yaakob and the people of Yasharel great again. The shields of the soldiers are red. The army is dressed in red. The metal on the chariots flashes when they are ready to attack. Their horses are excited. The chariots race through the streets. They rush back and forth through the city squares. They look like torches. They run like lightning. He calls his officers, but they fall down on the way. They hurry to the city wall. The shield is put into place. The river gates are thrown open, and the palace is destroyed. It has been announced that the people of Nineveh will be captured and carried away. The slave girls moan like doves. They beat their breasts because they are sad. Nineveh is like a pool, and its water is draining away. Stop, stop, the people yell, but no one turns back. Take the silver, take the gold. There is no end to the treasure. There is wealth of every kind. Nineveh is robbed, ruined, and destroyed. The people lose their courage. Their knees knock with fear. Stomachs ache and everyone's face grows pale from fright. Where is the lion's den? Where do they feed their young? Where did the lion, Linus, and cubs go? Where were they not afraid? The lion killed enough for his cubs. He killed it for his mate. He filled his cave with the animals he caught. He filled his den with what he had killed. I am against you, Nineveh, says the master of heaven's armies. I will burn up your chariots in smoke. I and I will kill your young lions with a sword. I will stop you from hunting down others on the earth. 
your messengers' voices will no longer be heard. Nineveh, I mean, Nahum, chapter 3, my babies. Okay, beloved, here we go. It will be terrible for Nineveh. How terrible it will be for the city which has killed so many. It is full of lies. It is full of stolen things from other countries. It is always hurting or killing somebody. Hear the sound of whips. Listen to the wheels. Hear horses galloping and chariots bouncing along. Soldiers on horses are charging. Their swords are shining. Their spears are gleaming. There are many bodies. Dead people are piled up. There are too many to count. People fall over the dead bodies. The city was like a prostitute. She was charming and a lover of magic. She made nations slaves with her evil ways and her witchcraft. I am against you, Nineveh, says the master of heaven's armies. I will pull your dress up over your face. I will show the nations your nakedness. And I will show the kingdoms your shame. I will throw dirt on you. I will make a fool of you. People will see you and make fun of you. Everyone who sees you will run away and say Nineveh is in ruins. Who will cry for her? Nineveh, I cannot find anyone to comfort you. Nineveh, you are no better than Thebes. She sits by the Nile River, with water all around her. The river was her defense. The waters were like a wall around her. Cush and Egypt gave her endless strength. Put and Libya supported her. But Thebes was captured, and she went into captivity. Her small children were beaten to death at every street corner. Lots were thrown for her important men, and all of her leaders were put in chains. Nineveh, you will be drunk too. You will hide. You will look for a place safe from the enemy. All your defenses are like fig trees with ripe fruit. When the tree is shaken, the figs fall into the mouth of the eater. Look at your soldiers. They are all women. The gates of your land are wide open for your enemies. Fire has burned the bars of those gates. Get enough water before the attack begins. Make your defenses strong. Make the bricks, mix the mortar, repair the wall. There the fire will burn you up. The sword will kill you. Like grasshoppers eating crops, the battle will completely destroy you. Grow in number like hopping locusts. 
grow in number like swarming locusts. Your traders are more than the stars in the sky, but like locusts they strip the land and then fly away. Your guards are like locusts, your officers are like swarms of locusts that settle in the walls on a cold day. But when the sun comes up, they fly away, and no one knows where they have gone. King of Assyria, your rulers are asleep. Your important men lie down to rest. Your people have been scattered on the mountains, and there is no one to bring them back. Nothing can heal your wound. Your injury will not heal. Everyone who hears about you applauds, because everyone has felt your endless cruelty. Beloved, my babies, that was Nahum, chapter 2 and 3, out of the International Children's Bible. I love you, my babies. Shalom, shalom.